Now today we're going to do one of my favorite dishes, which is vegetable korma. This is a traditional Indian dish, you might have had it already. It's characterized by its creaminess, its flavors of almond and coconut and spices, but it's not hot. And so it's very simple to make and we're just going to use three vegetables, three or four vegetables you can use. And today what I'm going to use is uh, fennel, sweet potato and broccoli and a little asparagus. And I'm going to make this in an untraditional way and then we're going to bake the vegetables and make these sauce separately and then they're going to come together at the end for the serving. Usually it will be steamed or fried. And this is very simple. To bake these vegetables, you want to get a nice baking dish like this. And the vegetables I have in there already are the broccoli stalks, the sweet potato and the fennel. And you want to sprinkle those with oil or ghee. We're using ghee today by popular request. So make sure the vegetables kind of covered in the oil. And we'll add the broccoli and the asparagus later because they have a shorter cooking time. You need to cook these for a good sort of seven minutes and then add the broccoli and the asparagus. And all you need to do is season, add a little bit of basil. I like to use dried basil, salt, herb salt and black pepper and a little lemon juice. There's all the flavors you're going to need for the actual baking. And you bake them in a hot oven, 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Don't forget the lemon. All right, so we'll pop those in the oven and they'll get to bake. So for the sauce, the sauce is a fun thing to make, I must admit. It is one of the delightful sauces. Korma sauce is very creamy. And for, like any sauce, you really need three main ingredients. You need some kind of oil or fat. It could be olive oil, coconut oil. Uh, we're using ghee today. And, and then you need some kind of thickener, like a flour. We're going to use almond flour. And then you need a liquid, and we're going to use a mixture of stock and uh, coconut and almond milk, which is delicious. And there will be plenty of coconut cream in it itself to give it that creamy, beautiful texture that we're familiar with, with korma. And um, so in first, we're gonna add some leek. Leek is a great source of iron. And it's quite, so it has a little zing, you know, but it's not as strong as onions. And then give those a stir. You can hear the nice sizzle of the leeks. Then you can add your spices, some ginger. And I'm using a special uh, korma powder that I've made. And this really is several spices, uh, traditional spices, Ayurvedic spices, things like um, coriander, cumin, uh, mustard seed, um, ginger, turmeric, little aspetida, and um, you could add some um, fenugreek to that as well. So just heat those a little bit. Um, I'm adding a little bit more ghee. And then I like to add my, my ground almonds. These are blanched almonds that I've, that I've made and then ground them. And this is our thickener. This is like a flour in a way. And this is blanched almonds just where you basically pop some almonds into the boiling water and after a few minutes uh, you'll be able to take them out and rub the skins off. So give that a stir, let that go. And the next thing we're going to add is some coconut manna. I love coconut manna. It's, coconut comes in many forms and usually you probably see coconut milk going into uh, a korma, but of course this does come out of a can. Whereas coconut manna is really the whole coconut that is being ground up and it is, it is actually served, served in, a, in a jar, or sold in a glass jar. So that's one reason I prefer it. Um, and so you see how quickly you get this kind of paste building up with the almonds and the coconut 
and you know the spices and um, you can see it does take quite a lot of of, um, of the ghee but that's fine because ghee is one of the most beneficial uh, oils or frying mediums you, you could you could use now as you know I like to build up layers in my flavors so I'll often add extra things here like maybe I might add a chopped date and also some tomato um, paste that we have and uh, lemon juice of course one of my favorite ingredients so you see you're, you're getting some different flavors from different tastes which is very important in Ayurvedic cooking to try to get the, the six tastes in there get a little bit, little bit of basil and of course black pepper you want some black pepper and some salt so in that way, you know, just with those ingredients we have in there at this point, we already have the six tastes. Why is that important? Because the six tastes, they nourish and balance all of your seven tissues, the seven tissues in the body. And those six tastes all balance and nourish those, those tissues. So if you're getting those six tastes, you're going to be already in good shape in terms of your tissue formation, which is the basis of your health. So you see how that's quite thick, that, uh, that lovely paste. This is called a roux in uh, French cooking. When, when you're, you're uh, heating flour, usually typically wheat flour in butter or oil. And then all you have to do then is really add your liquids. Now I'm using some stock that I made before, some vegetable stock. So pour some of that in, not too much at first. And then I'm also using a little bit of the whey that we got left from some paneer production. A little bit of whey, which is a lovely flavor. And you can see already this looks like a beautiful, rich sauce. It's got all the flavorings we, we want. It's got the texture and it's absolutely beautiful. It smells beautiful. Mm, it's so delicious and you could add a little bit of um, almond milk here if you like which I I made from um, the almonds just they're blending some of the ground almonds with milk and there you see you see that is just the most perfect texture look at that sauce so all we have to do now so now the this is really a quick and easy korma all we have to do now is get our vegetables out of the oven they'll be ready and we're going to add the sauce and um, you'll see how we serve this beautiful dish on some kitchery. Now, the last thing I like to add to the sauce before I serve it on the veg is to add some fresh herbs. And we've got three herbs for this sauce. One is this beautiful fennel grass from the fennel some cilantro and some basil which we just got from our garden or basil and stir those in and then I want to add some cardamom I love the flavor of cardamom so sprinkle a little cardamom and you see how gorgeous that sauce is now come over if you look at these vegetables over here these are just straight from the oven and um, you see how beautiful they are the texture so we added the broccoli and the asparagus a little bit later. So then all you need to do really is pour your sauce over the vegetables like this. See that beautiful sauce? Pour it over. You can turn your heat off. And you have an amazing vegetable corn. And the thing that's the advantage of baking the vegetables is you get a lot more flavor and you get more goodness as well. And so this is in a way a constructed dish, you know, you're actually constructing a dish in a slightly different way, but, and, but it's still beautiful and it's still, it's going to be even more flavorful. flavorful. Now I like to serve uh, my kitsch, my um, korma with some kitchri. And I love lemon juice on, on kitchri, so sprinkle the kitchri with some lemon juice. And you see I've added some herbs to that as well, and lose any pips that happen to come off, uh, out of the lemon, <laughs> which happens. 
and then um, you know you just get a nice serving of fish and korma and you can put it on top or on the side and you might want to serve this with a chutney but a nice uh, raisin or ginger chutney or a cilantro chutney but you can see these vegetables are absolutely beautiful this sauce is absolutely beautiful and there you have one of the most fantastic simple dishes and that is as you can see it's a very quick dish you could be doing something else while you're uh, baking the vegetables you could be meditating you could be dancing around the room whatever you fancy and the sauce itself only really takes six or seven minutes to make from scratch so i'm the vedic chef thank you very much for tuning in and this is vegetable corn uh, with baked vegetables